Hello everybody, it's Daria Akra, ITG Software Engineer. Let's start meeting about Beige Designer customization. customization. Let me share my screen. Okay. Today I'm gonna talk about Beige Designer customization. Why Beige Designer? Merchants can create, modify, and publish localized pages easily without back to developer to do that, without deployment or any code changes. It's simple and easy page maintenance. Assign page design pages to combine and manage it easily. Why we need customization? We needed to build dynamic pages which changes its content based on, based on attributes that determine on runtime, build new page types for page that has common layout like PDBs, PLBs, create new components for special purposes like video background components. Developer can create or customize two types in page designer, page type, which specifies the generic layout of the page and component type, which used for building the page, for building the page uh, content. Page designer files. Each page type and component type requires a JSON meta definition file, JavaScript file, and ISML file. Script file must have the same name as the type meta definition file and the same loc location. Page type, if all the types should be located under cartridge experience, for example, page type is located under cartridge experience pages, while component type is located under cartridge experience components. Let's start with page designer meta definition files. Before that, we have two important areas in the JSON file, which is, uh, which is attributes and regions. Attributes are the properties for the component itself, like entire text and text component, which could be markup, string, or text. Image in, uh, in image component, which uh, could be image or file type. URL backup, product backup, etc. Other types could be found in the documentation. I have provided the link and I will share it in the end of the session. We have also regions, regions which is the area that used to hold and render the components that are dragged on it during page creation. We will see the example at the end of the session. A meta definition file for a page type describes the regions of the page where a merchant can place component. A meta definition file for a component type describes the attribute and also the regions within the component type. So we can have nested components in the same component. Regarding script files, each page type or component type requires a corresponding script file. The script file must include a render function that returns the markup for the page. To render the ISML file, we must use demand where you tell template, which will return the result as a string, not demand where template ISML. We can access the attributes that we have that we have defined in the definition files and the regions via context, via context which is passed into the script file as a parameters. As what I mentioned, we will discuss this at uh, the example. Badge designer also provide using decorators with badge, uh, with badges. Uh, so we can use uh, multi decorators, not only uh, a specific decorator. We have we can implement various strategies 
for using decorators with page designer pages goals like empty decorator for ajax request etc we also can pass it uh, pass the path of the decorator as parameter via controller or static decorators if the path of a special decorator is supplied as parameter we're rendering the page so it will be used otherwise default decorator should be used instead We will explain this in example. Okay. Here uh, I have created a new beige type, which is located under cartridge experience pages. I have specified, I have created new three files, has the same name, new beige.json, new beige.js, new beige.isml. JSON and JS file has the same name under the same path, experience pages, experience pages, okay? On JSON file, as what I mentioned before, we have in page type only region definitions. The schema of the JSON can, could be found in the documentation. We have here region definitions. Region definitions is array of regions. There are every, every single region contains ID and the name, which is mandatory. Max number of allowed components in this region, which is optional. If it's not specified, we can add a component to that region as what we can, as much as we want. We have also optionally component type exclusions, which is, uh, which is uh, exclude the components that are not allowed to to be rendered in the region. We have also here other region, call it man. We can add other region as much as what we want. For example, title, we can name it title and uh, we cannot, uh, we can not add component type exclusion. If we want to add it, we can. Okay. In new base JS, which is in the same, uh, it has the same name of uh, the JSON file. We have here context. We can access the regions via context. Okay. Which is here in page type, uh, by type page script context. In JavaScript, we can uh, we we can uh, render the script file, the ISML file. We can apply any specific logic here. In bash type, there is no special logic for bash types. In ISML, we can render regions simply using as a brand, something like this is a brand predict regions the title that we made it the trender encoding of now if we look to a sandbox we can see best designer is under merchant tool contents page designer if we have create a new type, new beige, we will see the new beige type that we define it here. Everything is under experience pages will be rendered here, will be found here. We can specify the name of the beige, example test. Okay. If we look here to the beige structure, you will we will find the banner region, main region, and title. Okay. We can title, for example, put anything in, in it. We can uh, do it from here, add the component, or we can drag it and drop. Mm 
Hello world. Here it's under main region. We can drag it under title. So it'll be like this. Hello world. We can now customize other components, a uh, component type. New page is page type. We will now customize component type. For example, image and text component. It has attribute, attribute and regions definitions. Region definitions, I left it empty. We can also uh, fill it like in page, like page, page type. In attribute type here, we can uh, define a new attribute, for example, image, an image type or file type, which is here required. We have alt as a string, which is not required. We can also add markup, URL, product, or category, or other types could be found on the documentation. There's many types. We have also enum. A text position, for example, I have defined text position, which is the type uh, enum. Uh, could uh, it should not could it should specify file values for the enum type, uh, like uh, overlay under image, and uh, we can use default value. Default value uh, could be overlay or uh, under image. It should be one of the values that we specified before and it's not required. Okay, this is JSON file. In JS file, we can access the attributes that we define it in JSON file via context.content. Context.content, context .content. we can here apply our logic to that attributes and prepare the data to be rendered in the ISML. Pass it to the ISML, then render it. Here in the ISML, build the required structure, and we can pass the uh, we can use the attributes as pipeline dictionary attributes: text position, heading, text, alt, image, whatever, etc. Here we can add it, for example, to main region image with text that we customize it. Add image. We can make alt text. Two. Here's the URL backup. It could be BDB page, it could refer to BDB page, CLB, or any page that is built in page designer or content assets, or also search terminal or external. We could here create the link. And here's any home type. We can choose, choose it to be overlay or under image. For example, if we choose it overlay, And this is a component. If we, for example, change the change the choice here to under image, it will be changed. That based on our logic. That's it. Any question? Does anybody have any question? Nobody. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Dada. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.